Most tiny houses that are being built now are almost miniature McMansions. Some of them have a very clean look ready for resale, sort of cookie cutter thing. And that's my worry because this, this whole movement is about originality and creativity and living out your ideas. <laughs> and these are little witches' cottages. <laughs> The swing at the porch is mid to late last century architecture. Dairy Queen, it's a Dairy Queen for Micah Bench. The flower box, those are stove hoods. They're just flipped upside down and you just drill holes in them. You can see the fan light tag on them. Those are tomato sauce cans from our lo local pizza shop. And then because it's metal clad, it makes it a fire retardant wall. So your homeowner's insurance, they love it. We don't, take our, we don't take our architectural pieces too seriously. We're after the cute factor, cute and adorable. Well, the best thing about the space is, is the studio and the loft. <laughs> That's my 24-year-old son. In Maryland, we had a 3,500 square foot house with seven entrance doors four bedrooms, four bathrooms, massive, massive kitchen. I like periodically have anxiety attacks about everything that had to be done. I mean, you had to run huge distances in the kitchen to get to the fridge, like, or from the sink to the stove. And here it's all here. This is a microwave that bakes. I've never seen one like this, but it bakes and toasts and microwaves. I hope the day never comes where I have to use a big fridge again. It's just the right size. We just sort of get fresh veggies like every day. It's not very much in it. You don't need a big fridge. All the food is in jars, which is really easy. Then we have more food on the bookshelves. <laughs> I shop at a restaurant supply store for basics, and so whenever we get something, it's a huge amount. And I can cook large amounts because I have this cast iron wok and a big soup pot. I have big containers, so. You can cook big meals. Once we made sushi for all the neighbors, we had this up, this is the table, and then we have four chairs in the house, folding chairs. <laughs> it's really neat to put your furniture away when you don't need it because the surface gets cleared. And so when you're ready to use it, it's a clear, empty space. And then this is the wine and champagne caddy. <laughs> and then because it's located in the crawl space, it keeps the wine and the corks at a, a nice temperature. It's just unused space. So that's the wine caddy. You can get six bottles in. And then this is old pinto bean and flour sacks. There's no drywall whatsoever. And then any linseed oil over it because we're near a potential wetness. And then it tells stories, you know, we did Trader Joe's bags and we left the handles on. And then this is a four mil paper, and it's what the painters use for their drops. They usually just roll it out on the floors when they're spraying and painting, and then they just gather it all up and throw it in the dumpster. But it makes a great wall covering. We didn't worry about inclusions or having to match design patterns, and we just let the wallpaper slurry find its way. And then once again, we linseed oiled it, and so you can just scrub it with a sponge. Instead of putting a, a standard flat eight foot ceiling in, we chose to vault these up and it feels much bigger than what it really is. Well, the ladder pins in the floor here and accesses his art studio up there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. How's it going? So you paint? Yeah, draw. Well, paint actually, and draw and everything. Um, I want to work in comic books. I don't work giant anyway, so yeah. Mm, it's definitely it's just... enough room. I like it. I kind of want to be able to stand better. That's the one thing about being up here. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's cool. I like I like how contained it is, but I yeah, the standing thing is probably I have kind of bad joints. So yeah. oh sh I just like brushed it. <laughs> oh, it's actually kind of neat looking now. Oh, <laughs> this works really actually it's pretty much just the standing thing that's the only th the amount of space that is here is utterly perfect because like I've worked in small spaces before 
and actually I generally like small space working. I don't work that large of a scale, so it doesn't quite fit in a larger room. I lived in a treehouse for a year once, and it's it's like that. <laughs> Reminds me of the good old days. Same kind of wood wood sidings too. Yeah. Why? It's it's nice actually to have like a separate space to work in than where you like sleep or something. Mm -hmm. um, he was sleeping up there. He moved. Yeah. The oh yeah. Down to the window seat. I sleep right there. Where do you Not put your there. head? Towards the window. Okay. It's not very wide. But he's happy with this. And then the ladder will flip to the other yeah, side. Yeah, and then you just turn it, lock. and it'll go up to the little Chris. front lock. Right. Right. It's really been a pleasure to watch the response to the children that come in because they're like, wow, for little girls, this is like yeah. fantasy dream dollhouse. <laughs> I bought spray. Put a little hamper and ironing board across oh, from the washer dryer. Yeah, washer dryer. <laughs> Wardrobe area. Actually, th this is all of Christopher's clothes in one bin. Before we came here, we got rid of almost everything. So I've really cut down. It was, that's the hardest thing is getting rid of books. But most of my clothes are under the bed. This bed has four drawers under it. That's your closet. Yeah, and actually that's the only drawer I actually use. I have a, a comforter in this one, and this is like winter stuff. Patio door bathroom. <laughs> If the toilet floods, then uh, <laughs> it finds its way to the drain. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. When you're out here and the mm -hmm. lights are on, you close the door. It makes a light box. It's really nice to do yoga by. Put the light box and the rest of the house dark. The yoga mat fits here, and they fit in the front of the house, in the kitchen. So sometimes Christopher sits in the back, and I do yoga in the kitchen at night. And then it fits on the yoga platform in the backyard. And I'm out here all the time in Maryland. The size of the house, it was too big. It was a, a big house with no hiding places in it. It was the weirdest thing. I didn't know that would happen. And this is huge. This is 364 square feet. My retreat from the big house in Maryland was this tree house that we built. It was 100 square feet. Christopher lived in it for a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And did you, do you miss that? Did you like it or did it prove too small? Uh, what, living in the tree house? Yeah. Um, it was pretty awesome. I just didn't have like... Plumbing. Yeah. Uh -huh. It had electricity. Oh, yeah. It was pretty cool. <laughs> People come by all the time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's been an interesting experience to be in something that everybody's interested in. But I don't mind encouraging people to, to build their own tiny houses.